we're sitting in a special class here today in the UK. What uh, what is it? This is our new Jag 970 980 for 2017. So it's our new 900 series machine, Type 498. What's new about it? So the new machine, to start with, you look at the front, it's got a new optional variable header drive system. So for an Orbis like you've got today or a pickup, you can actually vary your full, your intake speed, your header speed to the feed rollers. So for example, long chop, slow feed rollers, slow header speed. Yeah. Long chop for grass or maize silage maybe, fast feed roller speed, much faster header speed. So all automatic in there, or you can have a manual system and you can bias it to suit your conditions. Okay. And then back from that, new shear bar setup, hydraulic clamping, new levers, new sharpening system, and a new automatic concave as well. So as your shear bar comes back, your concave comes up, keeping uh -huh. the gap between the blades and your concave plate constant right through from new blades to worn blades. And what's, what's the idea of all these new features on this machine? What's the, what's the goal from class? So the big push really is more efficiency. We can't physically make the machines much bigger, much wider, much longer. So what we're trying to do is get more efficiency out of what we've got. So variable header drive means we can adjust the header to the conditions or to chop length to improve feed, which will give you more efficiency, give you more output. Yeah. The new shear bar and sharpening system means the shear bar is set much more precise and held in position much firmer. Um, and also the new sharpening system means the blades are in much better condition. They sharpen them to a real precise edge. Yes. So better chop quality, reduced wear on your blades and therefore reduced fuel consumption. Big push on efficiency, reducing fuel consumption, that's increased output, better what's, chop. That's what the contractors are looking for. Absolutely, yeah. Burn um, less fuel, do it quicker, better chop quality for the end customer. Now we're, we're here today, we're in a good crop of maize. We have a 10 row Orbis 750 head. Um, how easy is this machine to drive? Very, very simple. So if you want to, you can go down the route of auto steer as an option. So it will steer itself either in a swath of grass or in a maize field like today. You can have auto fill, fill as an option to fill the trailer left or right or behind you. Okay. You could also have cruise control built into the machine as standard so it would adapt forward speed. And then you've also got the option of things like auto handbrake to release it, automatic engine speed control. So really all you need to do, turn on the headlands and avoid the trees. So the customer can really customise the machine to their exact needs. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, absolutely. All right, wish your luck. Let's fire it up and see if we can get to the end of the field. Very good. Okay, perfect. Press this. And there, straight away, the, all I did was engage the header and... Absolutely, fire so... Up. There's no turn of switches or... In the automatic mode, just press the escape button. So in automatic mode, what it will do is, as soon as you pull the joystick back to the uh, neutral position, it reduces the RPM as long as the feed rollers are closed, so it knows there's no crop. Out, we're moving. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, rev control is automatic. And what horsepower is this machine doing? This one's 775 at maximum power. And then it's got the optional dynamic power system, so if it needs to, turn it on the headland, it can run as low as about 300 or max out 775. So it's always trying to save fuel if it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to burn fuel for power, it throttles off. And what kind of engine to it? Uh, this has got a tier 2 16 litre MAN V8. Well, it has plenty of power for this 10 roll because there's a large volume of, of material going in there. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And yeah. it's by no means on its knees to say. Nope. Four wheel drive, of course. Yeah, standard feature on 900 series for the UK and Ireland is standard four wheel drive. I spotted a, a funny looking system on the front wheels as I was walking around the machine earlier. What's that all about? So, this one's got optional tyre pressure control, so as an option, you can have a tyre pressure feed either to the front or front and rear. And what it'll allow you to do is if, for example, you're in a uh, wet field and haze like we are here, yeah. you can reduce the tyre pressure for field work, which you will do with the flip of the switch up there, or on automatic when you go into field mode. And then for the road, you can blow the tyres back up again, so you're reducing your overall width and it carries the weight a little bit better. Yeah. It, is, it is a very boggy field, but uh, I mean, look, it is. It's stayed up and 
weight of the basically that header would be quite heavy on the front of the machine. Absolutely, yeah, around about four tons. Foragers afloat, fledging sea, trailers and stuff. Trailers, trailers to the vent here beside us is dropping. Yeah. AC, so we turn on the headland, headers up, Head feed roll rollers she closed. Cuts, she cuts down the power. That's it, so it knows there's nothing in the feed rollers. Engine RPM's down. So when I come up to these fuel plants here now, drop the head, she should fire back up. That's it, as soon as you engage the header down to work mode, there yeah. you go. Head is back up to full speed again. That's it. There you go, Dean, I, I, I like this machine. It's, it's quiet inside, it's comfortable. Great visibility. I mean, they are a popular machine in the UK and Ireland. I mean, Absolutely. When, when can we expect to see this machine hit Irish shores and sit in a, in a field of grass next season? So production yeah. starts just in uh, 1st of December, so just in time for Christmas. So if you order one for Christmas, with a bit of luck, January, February, the ship's not landing, UK and Irish shores. So if anybody wants one, now is the time to ask Santi for one. Absolutely. So this machine, 498 series, is limited production. So if you're a good boy and order one for Christmas, you should get it for first cut. Brilliant. Thanks, Dean. You're very welcome.